Hello there, uh, this is Robin Norgren and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. We are in the middle of a series uh, called Help Me to Know What to Pray and this is day number nine. You can go back through the archives to find the first eight days. Um, so at the beginning of this podcast, when I first started doing it, what I was doing was curating uh, three stories um, that kind of converged uh, on the ideas uh, behind creativity, Montessori, and the meaning of life, um, with the understanding that you are in many ways, or I should say I am in many ways, and perhaps you are as well, um, searching for um, the face of God in all um, that you are doing. And what I found as I was searching over the last decade or so, especially being very intentional about it, is that in creativity, in Montessori, and in uh, many self-help books, what I found is many times we were coming back to ourselves kind of accidentally. So this series on prayer is, again, more of an understanding that the more I pray over myself, the more I am the change agent in the world, instead of waiting for some change to happen outside of me, what I'm doing is starting with me and then allowing that outpouring to affect change in the world. So for, uh, for this series, what I do is I read some verses from the Bible, and then I also take the psalm uh, based on the day. So today's psalm would be Psalm 9. And I read the verses, and then I transform them into prayers that you would pray over yourself. And this could be done as a walking meditation, or as you're sitting quietly um, somewhere in your home, or perhaps when you are driving. Um, and very soon, I will have all of these uh, PDFs on my website, which I will announce very soon. Lord, you have been my dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back into dust and say, return to dust. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it passes by, or like a watch in the night. Psalm 90, 1 through 4. You, O oh God, fashion the hearts of all and understand all their works. Psalm 33, 15. May I be strong and courageous and careful to obey your word. May I not turn from it to the right or to the left, that I may act wisely wherever I go. Joshua 1, 7. We should bear with one another in love and make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Ephesians 4, 2, and 3. I called to you in my distress, O Lord, and you answered me. From the depths of the grave I called for help, and you heard my voice. Jonah 2, 2. I will exult in you, O Lord. I will rejoice in you, the God of my salvation. You are my strength. You make my feet like the feet of a deer and enable me to go on the heights. Habakkuk 3, 18, 19. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart, and I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. My enemies retreated. They staggered and died when you appeared. For you have judged in my favor. From your throne you have judged with fairness. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have erased their names forever. The enemy is finished in endless ruins. 
The cities you uprooted are now forgotten. But you, Lord, reign forever. Executing judgment from his throne, you, God, judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. Lord, you are a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. I sing praise to you, Lord. I will tell the world about your unforgettable deeds. For you, God, avenge murder and also care for the helpless. You, Lord, do not ignore the cries of those who suffer. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. God, you made my heart so you understand everything that I do. God, give me the desire to meditate on you day and night so that I will be sure to obey everything you write on my conscience. Only then will I prosper and succeed in all I do. Lord, help me to live a life worthy of your calling. For I've been called by you, God. Help me to always be humble and gentle. Help me to be patient with those I come in contact with making allowance for others' faults because of your, lo- your love, Lord. Help me to make every effort to keep myself united in the Spirit, binding myself to things that bring peace. When I cried out to you, Lord, in my great trouble, you answered me. I called to you, and Lord, you heard me. I will rejoice in you, Lord. I will experience joy in the God of my salvation. Lord, you are my strength, and you make my feet like hinds' feet, and you, Lord, will make me walk among high places. <laughs>